Okay, I'm going to give you four numbers, and I want you to give me an approximation of the average of these four numbers. So we have 20, 21, 22, 23. The average of these numbers is going to be what? Just approximately. Come on. Shoot, guys. Use the chat box. Rachel, do that too. You have four numbers, 20, 21, 22, 23. What's the average going to be? No, nor it's not going to be 20. The average of these four numbers is definitely not going to be 20, and it's definitely not going to be 23. It's not going to be the first one. It's not going to be the last one. So it's going to be somewhere in the middle, right? So it's going to be about 21 and a half. I, I don't care if it's 21 and a half or not, okay? I know it is, but just something over there. Look at it visually. There's one between each one. The difference between each one of these numbers is one. So it's going to be somewhere in the middle, right? Okay. Now take a look. What if I have 11, 21, 22, 23, Rachel? Will the average still stay here? Or will it be somewhere around here? Or will it be somewhere around there? Will it be between 11 and 21? Or will it be between 22 and 23? Okay, it will be between 11 and 21. It's going to go lower because now we have a smaller number added to the mix, so the average is going to become a smaller number. Okay, what if I have these 20, 21, 22, 35? What's the average going to be? Is it still going to be in the middle? Or is it going to go smaller? Or is it going to go bigger? It's going to be somewhere around here between 22 and 35, for example. Perfect. Okay, so that's a very good trick to use when you have averages. Before trying to calculate everything, look at the numbers and know that the biggest and smallest numbers can never be the averages of a group of numbers in, in series ordered already, and that the average is somewhere in between those numbers. If you have a really small number, then your average is not going to be in the middle of most of the numbers. It's going to be towards the smaller number. If you have a, number, if you have a very large number, then your average is going to move towards the larger number.